Well, hello everyone out there, and welcome to Fabulous Wednesdays with Thomas. I am here talking to you about what legacy has made the biggest impact in our lives. And for me, it would actually have to be Madonna. And I know most of you would say, you know, you're a Britney fan, you know, why is it not Britney, and why is it Madonna? Um, I guess because Madonna has been around for so long, and as much as I love and Love, love, love Britney Spears. Um, and you guys can talk about her all you want, but leave my Britney alone, please. Um, but Madonna has made a, a huge impact in my life because she has pressed every boundary out there, you know. Any wall that was up there, she just basically went through and rammed right through it. And, and she's changed her her way of life so many times, you know, just when you think you figure her out, you know, she learns more about herself, and she just adapts to that change, and, you know, she grows with it, and then people have followed her, you know, um, she made things popular, and she was just being herself, you know, she wasn't doing it to impress anybody, she wasn't doing it to, you know, um, get more feedback or anything, she just did it because that's something that she believed in, and at the time, those were her thoughts, you know. And, of course, a lot of people loved it and a lot of people hate it. And it it grew into this amazing thing to where she's an amazing artist. And, like I said, if she stops now, she will always be remembered. And I think that's the, kind of the same way, you know. As life goes on for me, <clears throat> being 33, um, I feel that, you know, there's more chapters for myself. And, and I know just when I feel like, I'm starting to figure myself out, you know, it's like another chapter opens up, and then it's like, wow, you know, here's a new adventure, um, here's another part of me that I want to experience, and I want to love, you know, so you're continuing, and you're continuing to change, and, you know, don't fear of anything that's out there, you know, for that change, you know, because it's who you are, it's who you are as a person, and there's no right or wrong way of doing things, you know, people will accept you for who you are, people will hate you for who you are, but at the end of the day, it's how you think of yourself. What do you see when you look at yourself in the mirror? And for that, I definitely thank Madonna for that because she had crossed so many boundaries and I feel like I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing so many things that I normally would not do and pushing myself to extra, extra limits. And I know that in the future, it's going to be more challenging and and I will be embracing different different things. And, of course, you know, I was able to go to my first gay bar um, recently and had a great time. I didn't get to dance as I, as I wanted to, but, you know, there's more adventures. You know, there's, there's clubs here around me where Daytona is and Orlando, of course. So the opportunity is still there, and I definitely, definitely will go out there and do it. So... I love each and every one of you guys. I'm going to make this really quick and short. It's not how I wanted to do this video, but here it is. So, subscribe, tune in tomorrow for Thursday with Bad Gay, and I love every one of you guys.